All right, guys, today you are going to be using this sheet right here to kind of go through and draw this square using your robot. On the sheet, I have your link to get to VexCode VR, which is right here. I, I also put some directions on here, like create a perfect square using the pen tool. Each side of the square should be a different color, just like the picture. So we want to kind of follow this pattern here, where it's black, red, green, blue. Um, the squares on the map, they measure 200 by 200. So if you look on the distances, which we'll get into that later on, uh, that way you can get your perfect square by doing a little bit of math, not hard. Um, I'm also, I don't have the link on there yet, but I'm going to put the link to this video when I finish making it right here. So you can click on that and use this video to get started. There's a couple of new um, coder blocks you're going to use. Move the robot pin down, which is just like a writing pin, and then changing the color. Because um, we will get into changing those colors right there. So, using um, VexVR, okay, remember our playground is right here we're just going to leave it on grid map we're not going to change anything uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the expand button right here it makes it a little bit bigger easier to see and then just kind of slide it over uh, if you look at the picture we kind of want to move to this area right here to get started so if we're, if we're looking here um, we're going to move up and then kind of over to get started to where we kind of center it up right here so I'm going to go and I'm going to drive forward to um, four and then 600 right there. Because remember, each block is, is 200. So I'm going to drive forward. I'm going to change that just to get it centered up. Change it to 600 and just watch what my robot does here. I'm going to drive forward to that square right there. Um, if you want to shorten it, you can. Just move him up a little bit. I don't want you drawing right down here at the bottom. It's harder for me to see when you take the screenshot. I'm going to have him <clears throat> turn to the right 90 degrees. All right, then I'm going to drive another two, um, four squares. So I'm going to drive forward for 400. All right, if I restart it and play it, He's going to drive up, and he's going to go over two blocks to right here. All right, and now I'm ready to kind of start drawing. So the first thing I want to do is put the pin down for the robot. If you notice, he didn't draw a line to that point because I don't have a code saying pin down. If I scroll down to the looks category, here's my pin down. So I'm going to put the pin down. If you look at the sheet, this is the line I am drawing right here. It is black, so I use set robot pin color and leave it at black. Okay, now I want to drive forward. Okay, and I don't care how far you drive forward, you just need to make sure that you drive the same distance for all of your sides so that way you get a perfect square. So I'm going to go forward for two, four, six. So I'm going to go basically three blocks with a black line. All right, so I'm going to drive forward, go back up here, set that to 600, and then I'm just going to reset and play it. Now he's going to turn. When he gets to my starting point, he's going to go forward. All right, so I went for 600. All right, right there. All right, now. I need to turn him to the left. So I'm going to turn robot. Switch that to left. Okay, now before I start driving, I have to switch my color. All right, because that line was black. Now I'm going to switch it to red. So now I go down here to set robot pin color. Change that to red right there and then I'm gonna have him drive forward again for the same distance which was 600 all right so now I go drive forward and then I go 600 and now if I watch it he's gonna drive up get to my center point draw my black line 
turn to the left, draw my red line the same distance. All right, now I need to turn to the left again. So you're just kind of following this pattern right here. You'll turn to the left, change your color. If you look at your next color, it is green. So I would change my color to green. Then I would have him drive forward for 600 again. Then I turn left, change my color to blue for the final color, and then have him drive forward to finish out your square for 600. If you have any questions, make sure you email me. You can rewatch the video. I'll have a turn in sheet for your screenshot when you are done. It'll be right below um, this document. All right, make sure you take your screenshot and include your code. Always take your screenshot outside of your code and get your robot right there. Don't just take one of the robots. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Thanks.